Hello everyone, welcome back for another episode of Into Dawn. We're gonna continue where we left off on the last episode. So right now we're playing as Sam, Hannah's best friend. It's like playing Resident Evil but on different genre since it's like the fixed cameras. The gaze busted. Climb over, Chris. Uh, we're gonna go on this one. I think it's yeah. I gotta go for the quick side since I don't want to waste too much time. Oh, oh, dang it. Not a good idea. Ah, I'm just gonna go for the safe one. We're gonna save some time. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Taking forever on there. At least we made it. So dark, man. You hungry? Huh? Oh, uh, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come on. The stupid sensor motion. Oh, gosh. Don't move it. <laughs> Cutie. The stupid controller rumbles after couple seconds just to make throw you off in there all right we're gonna continue objective head to the cable car station Indigenous people and the butterfly prophecy. Try who once lived in this mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicates the nature of the prophecy. Deaf black butterflies prophesy the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warn of dangerous events. Loss, which is the color brown. Butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. And then. Guidance, which is yellow butterflies, offer visions to help and guidance. And then you have the white one, which is fortune, which is luck and good f fortune. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choice you make. Press R1 anytime to view your totem collection. Not in the 
bag, are you? Obviously not. I should close the bag. I don't want it to invade his privacy. Ooh, I changed the narrative of the game. Sam, hey, you made it. Has a crush on Ashley, protective, humorous, medoptical. That's so weird. Oh, so. I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. What is this? Wanted. Oh, man, look at this. Nice. Victor, we'll a male. America's most wanted. Height 62. Like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Wanted in connection with a first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regardless, regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted Pontipulary Police. Blah, blah, blah. July 1998 Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, on, look at these beauties! Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He means he's like Grizzly Adams or something. You wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. Wow, nice shoot for tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. It's like squirrel, I should not even shoot nature. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Alright, should get going then. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Hey, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked, to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. That's for you. Oh, real gentleman. All right. I thought the 
car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like a sleeping giant. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Sanatorium. That's so weird. Oh, it's a camera. Just saw the bathroom there earlier. What the heck was that? Oh well. Let's get back before we get smacked. Coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Just like going to the prom. on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro, good talk. <laughs> you know what, let's just, Let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Just talked about that earlier. The possibility. So we have a new person, Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, trusting, irrelevant, and confident. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. So she's new to this. <gasps> Holy what cow. Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Oh, uh, that gave me a uh, scare. Are you having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, you got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? <laughs> I wonder. Mm, let's see. Explain. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Huh. 
All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. I'm getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily. Mike's ex, resourceful, persuasive, intelligent. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, ambitious, active, motivated. You know. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> oh, God. Jesus! <laughs> it's Mike. Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check <clears> the <throat> cable car back on the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. Alright, see ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Mm. All right, all right. I should give her. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Mwah! <laughs> Ooh. My honesty is way down the line. Ooh, it's a new girl. Oh. Ashley. Academic has a crush on Chris. Inquisitive for right. Somebody's getting a little friendly. They're not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh, oh shit! Oh, hey. Uh. hey, whoa. Sorry, 
sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Dan. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. No, uh, Sleep. It's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just. What? For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Uh no. Uh, no, really, Matt. It's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it. So just no, no. All right. Uh, sure. If you say so. Oh well. Okay guys, I would like to end this video right now. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next episode.